Welcome to the dirty old rotten old stinky old bills of show, eh? Friggin' right, boys and girls. Can you see me? Probably not. Why could you? Boys, here. How's that? Is that better? Well, this year Halloween's gonna be a friggin' washout, it is. I can friggin' almost tell you right now because all that's doing outside is friggin' raining. Hey, eh? that's it. Just raining. Can't work on nothing. Can't get the props hooked up. Just getting cocked right over. Cocked right over, I am. Like every Halloween. Hey, yeah, that's why I quit Halloween. Look at it. Raining. Everything's soaking wet. Can't do nothing. Cause ain't working the rain. Tomorrow's Halloween, so happy Halloween Eve, eh? For great. But other than that, boys, girls, peoples, let's shut this freaking door. Other than that. Oh, freaking chair's too damn low. Other than that, I want to review this mirror real quick. I'm not gonna install it today. But uh, I'm gonna do a two part for this one. So any of you golf cart fans out there, stick around for this video. Anybody who's not a golf cart fan, then uh, stick around for this video anyways. So make sure you hit subscribe, like, and the notification bell bar button. Why wouldn't you? Holy, hang on to your voice. Messages coming in, see how popular I am? Not. First thing I gotta do is go into here, and I wanna pull up where it come from, I do. Ah, oh, boys, where is it? So this mirror come from the dirty old Amazon store, it did, if anybody's wondering. So I'll put the link below for that. What we are working with here today is we got ourselves. Careful. Right? A little friggin' uh, Halloween uh, yelling going on out there, you. A little, little tricks or treats not happening right now, boys. So, where was I? What we got in a box of Ruski is thick all, boys. Careful. Hopefully you can see, because I just got one hell of a cocked over situation right now. So I had a company send me a review mirror for the old golf carts. Now this mirror, as far as I know, will work for any golf carts with a roof on it. So this one's going to be going on the old Easy Go out back. But uh, I got to get the old Easy Go into the shop here so I can start working on her. But I wanted to show you this because I don't want to leave them hanging too long because they sent it to me to review. So I'm going to do a, a part one and a part two of this. Freaking right I am. So don't worry, whatever the hell your name was. Kathleen? Yeah, don't worry Kathleen, I got you covered. Friggin' right I do. But, I'll pull it out of the box and we'll show you what I got. Boys, it's pretty friggin' decent actually. It's very good quality and uh, I'm very impressed and the link below is for this. So if you have a golf cart and you need a review mirror that you can see things from all angles of the dangle, except for in front of you of course, because that's what you're looking forward for, is uh, this is the one to get. So, first thing it comes with is, boys, girls, peoples, the brackets, eh? Like that, so they can mount to the roof and whatnot on your golf cart. And like I said, we will show you the installation video of this, but I just want to get it rolling. Comes with some screws. Looks like they got uh, nice little plastic washers so you don't get leakage. It's pretty, pretty simple little mirror, it is. But it's all metal, which is very friggin' very rare anymore to get all metal. But she's all metal back and she is. So no plastic there, boys. She's got a couple wing nuts. That these go on to adjust your height. It's got different holes there to adjust how high you want to go. Now, it all depends how you want to mount this, but look at it, look at it. Hey, look at the angle of the old dangle, boys. So see, that's you driving. Look how much you can see, hey? Friggin' right, look at the muff. Decent. You can see yourself even. But if you just turn a little bit, look at it, boys. Look at the angle of the dangle it's got. That's freaking pretty decent. Freaking great it is. So, that's the angle of the old dangle. It's got a curve on it about like that, boys. So she's got a real good view. If you're looking, you can see you back there. I can see just the nose of decent, and I can see the drill over here. So holy crap, she's got good views. When you're mounting this, you can pick whatever hole you want, however low you want it or high you want it. What I'm thinking is, I like to mount things this way, but you can mount it the other way too. You know, I might mount it that way or I might turn these and mount them outwards. It all depends on the golf cart. Like I said, I'll bring that in and we'll show you a video on that. But uh, once you get mounting it, you uh, basically know. If you want one, I'll give you some measurements right now in case you want to know if it's gonna fit your golf cart, boys. So I'm gonna set this right here like this, line the brackets up. So say we want to uh, mount them facing out. Like so, eh? Ain't like so. Want to make sure they're nice and straight? <laughs> really? So basically, the size of the mount is about uh, this much, boys. So hole to hole, you're looking at 16 inches. 
16 inches across. So if you got a roof on your golf cart, measure 16 inches and see if you get some bracketry for it. If you don't, all you do is spin the brackets around like that and then do another measurement. Make sure they're square though. If they're not square, it's no goody because you can't get a direct measurement. Where's my doodad? Hold on boys, where's my whatnot? This is the foam. So square. And square. There we go. Okay. So we'll measure now. So if you turn the brackets around, you're gonna get about seven inches. So seven inches with the brackets like this, 16 inches with the brackets like that. So there you go, you can go measure your golf cart now and see if that will work for you. I like it. Thanks for sending it to me to review. Hopefully uh, you pick yourself up one. Like I said, I'll put the link below for this. But uh, I had some rules here and regulations for Kathleen that I gotta just check, make sure I didn't forget anything for you. Freaking right, eh? Gotta, gotta uh, keep everybody happy, we do. Careful. Sorry about that, boys. Apologize. Make sure you have a US mailbox if you want yourself one of this, if you're a Canadian, because you might want to send it to a US mailbox. But they are cheap, and you're looking at about $18.99 for them, so they're not bad in price at all. If you're in the States, Bob's freaking uncle right to your doorstep. Just so you know, too, eh? If you want to know, it's got a 150 degree angle of the old dangle to view. Eh? 150 degrees, boys. It's a 17 inches wide total length. Too, so it's not too friggin' long, it's not too big, three inches high, eh? Friggin' right it is. Boys, it's got any shake and everything built into it. Oh, way, that thing is friggin' decent. Everything you want for a rearview mirror in your golf cart is right there, boys. I had one of them big ones with a, you know, the square dot, 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 things. I didn't like it at all. I'd rather have something like that. It's one mirror and you can look everywhere because like I said, if you're up close, like look at it. You can see my camera and everything about my camera, boys. But anyways, I just wanted to show you that real quick and I'll have another video of installing that. But I'll give you some quick measurements and stuff for now and it comes with some screws. They are self tappers, just so you know. So if you need to self-tap into the steel uh, bracketry of the roof, they are self-tappers, so they'll go right in real nice and simple, eh? Decent. Freaking right, it's decent. I wish I could look at the screen and look at the lens, but I always look at the damn screen. But get yours today, and make sure you tell them dirty old bills have set you. Why wouldn't you? Freaking right, you better. But hopefully everybody's having a good night like I am, and hopefully, Gonna enjoy Halloween tomorrow. I'm not because I haven't had time to hook up the props because it's been raining every goddamn night. So the props are a no go on the arrow unless I get really ambitious tomorrow night. If it's not raining, if it's raining, she'll get a couple strobes, a couple smokers, and we'll be done with her. But, anyways, hopefully, everybody's having a good night and uh, you know what to do for now. Yeah.